let's help him to get closer to breaks in. But however, if Sersalti is running Emolga, he can quickly nullify that. Mm -hmm. If Sky um, is too risky. Usually runs, maybe. I don't know really about that. I, th I think I remember him seeing um, using Emolga before, so yeah. that could be a bit of a problem for Sky Raisin if he gets hit by that. See, yeah. is going Emolga, so. Oh, okay. So he's going to be able to give Sky a bit of a hard time with that. All right, setting up that Fire Smash, I feel like that's going to be really, really helpful in these matchups because. Um, the chance of air mobility is rather lacking, so like being able to put that big round projectile really can hurt. Alright, so Sir Chelsea already looks like playing a much more patient game. I think he's yeah, recognized. I think, I think he knows that you shouldn't go in that. Yeah, which, yeah, which is very good matchup knowledge because a big thing is that um, players are really used to is, like Nobody's to be able to adapt. And Sir Salty is really doing a good job of that. Getting a nice mix up, not yeah. even taking one bit of damage. Getting the double side again. Mm -hmm. Now Toad gets going to be in play. Oh, so Sir Salty is really making a lot of smart plays right now. Countering so many options. Oh, he, he had held down. He might have been able to yeah, duck under that. I was about to say, Machamp's counter is a nice, high profile attack. So if you have a duck, you can just duck underneath it and you will not get hit by it. Right. Using Molga. This guy is really in a tight situation right now. He also gets an advantage and a bulk up as well. Maybe the first and is a shield that says avoid a good match on top of Oh, oh so Skyrim did go for the airdrop, but it's fairly mistaken. Oh jeez. This is gonna bring <laughs> Salty down to 158. Jeez. Rage boosted. Oh, that's, oh it. that's it. That's it. That's oh it. my god. See, that is... if, if a champ gets in on you, you either lose half or all. So <laughs> Salty was in the lead that almost that entire match, but then the thing is with Machamp, if you don't kill him right away, you're still gonna die. Uh -huh. Like, he was at about 500 health, and then in two, basically two attacks, it was over. Uh -huh. uh, Machamp really just has a huge comeback factor. You have to kill him as soon as you can, right? Oh, just jumping over the counter. Going for a raw close combat right there for some nice good damage, and the wall spot as well. I think Sir Salty might be a little bit good from that. I think yeah. He's, his projectile game isn't really looking as strong as it was. Yeah, he had a really strong uh, time that first round, but now it's a little bit lacking. Okay, nice grab right there. A bit risky, I think though. He was trying to go yeah, he, he turned blue, and usually if you turn blue, that means you're countering and should be crit. But like if you were going for submission, that does not count as a crit. Right. Also, I just realized this now, but Sir Salty's going better. That is a, that's a smart choice. I, yeah. can, I can agree with that. Yeah. I think overall that might be a little bit better than the Golden Chess. That will always get Skyrim. That will somehow. always push you out. Yeah. Crazy distance. That burst right there. Took an insane amount of damage. Cross up getting in right away. Oh, Aww. karate shot beating, I think that was a flame shot attempt. Yep. Oh, oh, but now he's going to. Oh, one weird Fennekin hitboxes here. <laughs> oh. What was that? I hope he can see me right now because. That was nasty. So what happened there was Sky Reason actually used, um, oh, he had his um, exhaust frames. I gave him a uh -huh. little bit of invincibility, able to go through Sir Salty's attack, and even with a laggy move like Adax, able to punish. Absolutely just nasty right there. Now, gross. One thing about Machamp is that not only does he do a lot of damage, he can also do a lot of like, say, like psychological damage, like getting hit by stuff like that. It feels bad. Like it hurts. It can it, really, it can really shake you up. That can uh -huh. I can happen to anyone. It really takes a real like solid grip on like your own play style to really be able to deal with that. Let's see if Sir Salty can really recover from such a hit like that. Seems like he's doing. He's keeping it out right now. Yeah. He's putting him out there. Again, going for the projectile again, which I think would be definitely the better option to go for instead of more aggressive approaches. Yeah. Like keeping keeping and laying them out really really helps him out. I see Moga call on the counter. Light screen for a grab. It's gonna be some nice sunny days right there. It's like, this is very reminiscent of the first game, actually. Sir Salty not taking any damage yet. Well, of course, as we learned, that does not mean anything to the champ because yeah. he can get in once. And now he's in the corner. Yeah. Oh, nice use of the counter frames right there. Guys, just go for some pokes, getting some options. I think that was a scary face yeah. he went for. Salty not having to get that grab and getting some more support and some sympathy right there. He went back for Molga again, which 
I think both have their uses, but I think overall Fennec will be a better choice. But oh, I think Emolga will work out. It seems to be working out fine for right now. Alright, so only about 15 seconds left on the clock. But if there's any character that could do over 300 damage yeah. in 10 seconds, it'd be Machamp. Oh, was, yeah, he'd have to go through all those projectiles, which is something that's really laying down. Very reminiscent on the first game, but actually able to close it out that time. So Salty looking at a pretty good a pretty good round right now. That is not quite at his burst yet. So Salty sitting on it right now. Alright, I'll just go for a bulk of instead of trying to get close to this. Nice use of actually back dash away. That really gets out of a lot of traps. We're getting the counter. And this is exactly what Skyrim wants right now. Oh, but now he's going in burst. Push him back a little. Oh, going for a very risky grab right there. Thinking that guy's going to be afraid of the first and punching that. That's a counter. Oh, going for burst right there. I think that might have been a little bit of preemptive matching. Thinking he would confirm it to it. Oh, Emolga. Nice. He's oh, stalled in the air by Sky Raisin, but not quite able to avoid that shield break. This is going to mean a lot. Now he does not have his burst at the ready. Oh, oh tried to time submission right there. but not quite working out. Just see a nice. bunch of projectiles now. Yeah, Salty's really just setting up a fort right now, making it hard for Skyrim to get in. Ooh! Almost lands on. Yeah, almost. Get the time. It's gonna be big. Oh, oh, close combat! Evening it out! And now Skyrim has both now, access to Tokus and his burst. Now he has the lead. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a very scary situation for both players. Skyrim's gonna go ahead and pop his burst. Oh, oh. wake up slap there. But is, that is a pretty expensive trade, though. He may have won that round, but he did have to use his yeah, burst to yeah. do it. Hopefully, his special tier is going to get him at least halfway, but big 200 CC character like the champ might be a bit difficult for him to get that up there. Nice. He's kind of not able to punish quite right. Oh, grab crushing right there. Big damage. The burst right now. Something, again, approaching is a bit weird out here. Like, dash forward. Put it on. Put on a good amount of pressure right now. Yeah, with that speed debuff, this guy really can't get in at all. Now he has his burst right now. Oh, raw burst from Sir Salty. Trying to up right there, some, some sort of off right there, but it'll be it. Oh, nice call out by Sky Raisin. Getting that burst this is going to take him to probably about 150 speed. I believe Sky, um, the champ has the third highest burst in the game. So, lots of damage right there. This is a very tight situation. Eight wise, 10 grab. Oh, and that is it with Sky, uh, Machamp's incredible grab damage. Able to snag that out in a bit of an unexpected win right there.